On this episode of The Layover Live, Satisfy Lab stops by to talk about conversational marketing. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 195 of The Layover Live. I'm Jason Swick, VP of Strategy and Insights here at SimpleView, and thank you once again for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today. We really do appreciate it. Now, for DMOs, website engagement is one of the most important indicators in determining the success of their content and ranking of the overall website. Every destination marketer we work with is constantly competing to increase web engagement levels with the hope of influencing visitors to choose their destination over another. Now, no matter what type of engagement you're measuring, you're likely doing so with certain objectives and goals in mind. Let's use email, for example. You likely want your subscribers to open your email, click through to your website, and gain value from the content that they are presented with. Now, ultimately, the goal is likely some sort of conversion or desired action, and providing an improved user experience and increased engagement can assist with that. Now, there is no doubt that this can be an absolute challenge. Today's consumers are impatient and demanding, so providing them the content they want when they want it is important. However, Generating web traffic alone isn't enough. You need to nurture and engage visitors, and one way to boost engagement is with conversational marketing. For example, using AI and chat to turn questions into conversations. It's a solution worth exploring, and there are a ton of benefits for DMOs, and I personally find the opportunity very, very exciting. And to share more about this concept, I'm joined today by two very special guests and experts in the space, from our friends at Satisfy Labs. First, I want to welcome Danica Wong, who's the Chief Marketing Officer for Satisfy Labs. So Danica, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here and uh, talk to this group of people. And next, I'd like to welcome Aliana Margulis, who is the Product Marketing Manager at Satisfy Labs. So Aliana, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. I'm super excited to be here today. Yeah, happy to have both of you here as well. As we jump into conversational marketing, this is a topic that I'm really, really, really excited about. You guys are real true experts in the space. We have a recent partnership with you guys, which I'd imagine many DMOs are curious about. But really, before we jump in and discuss the benefits, I want to dig into a little bit around just conversational marketing in general. It's a term we've heard of late and people talking a lot about it. So can uh, you provide a little, maybe a brief overview about conversational marketing, what it is, maybe how it differs from traditional marketing techniques. And, and Danica, I'll go to you first on that. Yeah. So, you know, conversational marketing, I would say, like you said, it's a term that's kind of popped up, I think, a lot more in the last year. Uh, what it really means is the conversations that you're having throughout all the different uh, digital channels. That's whether it's through your website, um, through an app, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, uh, SMS, you know, everyone's now having these two way conversations. And businesses are really starting to realize that they need to actually focus on conversational marketing as its own form of marketing. I always say it's similar to how people were with social media 15 years ago. They realized, okay, this is a place where our audience is. Now, what can we do to actually cultivate that relationship through that channel? That's how I would say today, you know, conversational marketing, think of it um, collectively. How are you having uh, consistent brand messaging? How are you making sure that you're you're having access, um, your customers are having access to you in these different digital channels? And, you know, and then what can you do once you once you do start to engage? What what are some of the new behaviors that someone in a digital communication channel are going to be able to do that's different than the way that you interact with them through maybe email marketing or your social marketing? Yeah, absolutely. I think all really, really good points. I think, as I mentioned in the intro, talking about engagement being, you know, so important for, for destination marketers and personalization and be able to really control that relationship with the end user. This is one of the uh, really, really good ways of being able to do that, to really find out what your audience really wants and cares about. And again, they're, they're impatient. They want to be able to have that. And this, this, this conversational marketing allows us to be able to have that two-way conversation in a much easier way um, and certainly improves um customer experience, which is important to all of us. You know, Aliana, do you have any thoughts on that as well? 
Um, yeah, sure. Well, as a product marketing manager, I've been doing a lot of market research and I have been talking with our existing clients from the demo industry and I have found out a lot of interesting data I'm ready to share today. Yeah. So one of the studies showed that nine out of 10 customers would like to, the option to use messaging to contact a business instead of using phones or emails, especially among young generations. Um, they expect businesses to give prompt, instant answers at any time of the day. So even social media can solve this problem uh, right now because businesses cannot contact uh, guests um, 24 hours, seven days a week, right? So if a business can provide a solution that they're looking uh, for on the go, it will be much appreciated, leading to increasing loyalty, uh, repeat visits and positive referrals. Um, another stat shows that 85% of buyers who like to ask questions before making a purchasing decision. Mm -hmm. And even our satisfied data proves, proves that, that point. Even non-purchasing question, just general question about parking or food and beverages can lead to, to purchasing intent. Yeah, all really, really good uses of, and the importance of, of having somebody there to be able to answer these questions, right? I think about, you know, when I'm planning a vacation, and this has happened times before, right? My, my family and I were getting ready uh, to go out to, to take a trip um, um, in, the, in the coming weeks. And as part of that, it's frustrating if you have a question about something and you're like, oh, I just missed it, it wasn't open. I wish I could ask this question right now, not having the ability to do that. Because we live in a mobile first world, a lot of folks are expecting you to be able to answer their questions 24 hour a day, seven days a week. And certainly this helps with that, which kind of then leads into my next question for you guys which is um, your technology. And I know your technology uses uh, AI, which is really, really important. It can help for, from scale for sure. Um, it can help in a number of ways of also in, in, in providing an improved user experience. So maybe can you share a little bit uh, about the role maybe that AI plays into conversation marketing and more specifically around some ways you guys are using it with, your, with even your AI assistants? Yeah, I can, I can talk to that. So we, have, uh, we are a conversational AI platform. We have our own uh, proprietary NLP, which is a natural language processor, mm -hmm. which allows someone to ask a question in a natural for, for, you know, way, you know, unlike search where you, you know, you try and hit the keywords, you can ask a question and based on our technology, we can understand the intent. Uh, and, you know, we focus at Satisfy Labs around destinations and experiences. So we mostly have clients in sports, entertainment and tourism, which is really a lot of guest facing types of, uh, you know, uh, brands. And so the questions that we are understanding at a very granular level are very much about the uh, questions someone asks throughout a whole customer journey. So again, take, for example, uh, a DMO, what are all the questions someone's going to ask as they're considering going to your location? Maybe they're already there. Uh, the way that you ask the question is uh, is going to be different, and you have to really understand very specific in, uh, intents, and that's what the AI does. We really understand very specifically what the question is asking, and then we match it to a response, because obviously everyone wants the answer. We have created this system that is, allows us to do that, which then in turn for a DMO is they can have an automated, consistent, scalable on-brand solution for communicating in one of these chat environments. Yeah, I love that, Danica. That, it's, a, it's a good point to think about intent, right? Because that is, that is a really, really difficult thing um, is what, what is this customer really needing or wanting or, what's, or what are they meaning behind what they're asking for, right? This really certainly helps from that. And I imagine it helps inform content strategies for the website and a million other things, which kind of gets into my next question around, around the many benefits, right? Because I, as I alluded to earlier on, um, to me, uh, conversational marketing in this space, really there are a ton of benefits to using a tool like this um, and, and a ton of different ways that this can you know, positively impact the overall user experience and really drive business growth for, for a destination. So maybe if you could get into maybe sharing a little bit more about some of the, the important benefits or, or something specific to DMOs about ways this might be able to benefit them engagement is really important. And that is one thing that if you have a chat solution on your website, first of all, they're going to stay on your website longer because if they're engaged and they have questions and they actually get answers in that way, they're they're going to continue to ask all their questions in that in that form. 
Second, you know, if that if they get their answers, it's going to increase their their experience that they had. And in turn, we know that having a good uh, experience on your website or from any channel leads to people, you know, reviewing and and having positive reviews. Um, and then I know dwell time is always really important. So, you know, we'll see um, some of our other clients in other industries. They actually sometimes have different experiences depending on the page. So if you're on a ticketing page, their their welcome message is going to be different than if you're on a customer service page. And so that personalization is really um, helping for people to, one, feel like they really are going to get the answers that they're looking for, uh, that is tailored to them. Obviously, we know that that's just a general customer trend. And so, you know, that's a huge part, especially me as a marketer. And I know a lot of digital marketers out there, you know, that ability to to serve your customer in a way that, uh, you know, that is helpful to them, enjoyable and intuitive is going to make all the difference. Yeah. And I know, Aliona, you, you know, you've talked to some of the DMOs that we, we've started working with, with the Simple View Partnership. Um, sure. Yeah, we have been talking with Experience Columbus and visit Austin recently. And uh, for example, Experience Columbus told us that the visitor engagement um, went up up to two times. So it was a great result only by using AI chat. And what Visit Austin told us is that they loved the data that they got from AI chat and it helped them improve the content marketing strategy a lot. So imagine, for example, your guests are asking about kids' events in the area, and you don't, you just don't know that. But with our solution, with our analytical dashboard, you can get this this information. And imagine that the next day you just uh, place a banner on the website or launch a social media campaign with kids' events in in Austin. So it will increase uh, engagement a lot. It will increase traffic. So this is something that our clients already like. And I just wanted to quote uh, Visit Austin. Uh, they, they told us that nothing beats having a conversation with a human to really understand what they want. It's like almost being uh, like being a fly on the wall with that person. That's why they find it really effective and unique. Yeah, I love that. The, the, the insights, I think, are so important there, right? You guys talk about the importance of data. You know, we think about the front-end user experience, and that's certainly absolutely important. But that back-end data is really, really important too, right? Because it informs a lot of our decision-making. Uh, First-party data, as you guys have known, has been so important of collecting that information over the last Boy, it seems like two years now that we've been talking about the importance of that. This is a great uh, additional way for DMOs to be able to collect that insights um, from their customers and learn a little bit more about what's happening. So, um, you know, it leads me kind of then into my, my next question because, you know, as, as, as I'm newly exposed to this space, right, and I'm thinking about conversational marketing and chat and all those type of things, um, you know, I, I, I think I think about it as being a web only type product, right? Something that sits up on my website, but I know there are actually several channels that you can leverage across this, which I think people don't think about all that often unless you're living in that space. So maybe can you share some additional ways that, that uh, folks out there might be able to leverage AI beyond their website? Yeah, the, you know, that is true. I think the traditional chatbot, um, original chatbot, which, you know, we, we disassociate ourselves from because the technology has gone, come so far, but yes, that sits on your, your website. Uh, but also, like I said, we are available in app. So if you have an app and a lot of times there'll be a, want to talk to someone you're usually used to having a live chat person for, for service questions, right. but now we can plug into that and answer the questions. And also what's interesting about our platform is you can have different answers by different channels. So if you're in app and you are trying to access tickets or, or do something, you would say, oh, go check this part of your app. If you're on the web, you'd say, go download the app. So you also are able to play with the different channels and the answers that you provide. Um, additionally, I've said Facebook Messenger, uh, you know, all these third-party messaging uh, platforms we can plug into. So WhatsApp's obviously becoming really big. Um, and then another, it's not a channel, but another way that our clients are starting to surface chat to their customers is through QR codes. 
oh, wow. physical location. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's now QR codes that you can put, you know, you can put on a poster or you can put at a table. And depending on where someone is, you can choose to direct them into a different part of the chat experience. So it doesn't even have to be the same welcome message experience. It's just general. It can be, okay, I know that you're in the VIP section of this part of a um, an entertainment district. You know, would we give you, do you have a different prompt and maybe have different types of questions that we can prompt you to, you know, to, to ask instead? And so the QR code is really kind of bridging that physical with the digital together. Yeah, I, I love that. And and you saying that, Danica, just got my wheels spinning with all this these type of ways to use this. I'm, I'm so happy that you shared that because um, we're always looking at ways to tie online to offline and vice versa. That is an excellent mm -hmm. example of being able to do that. And uh, certainly as, as naturally first step for, for DMOs is to, is to to leverage this on the website. But as we start to think about ways to evolve this, I think that is an excellent example to be able to use. I can think of a you know a thousand ways in my mind right now we could leverage that that instance across different things. That's probably a whole other episode that we'll go over, and then there's certainly going to want to have you guys on again to talk more about that type of stuff. Uh, but that is an excellent example of some of the many many benefits beyond web of being able to engage with your audience. Excellent there. So it's going to bring it to my to my final question then. Uh, before we go, and I'm sure others are thinking of this or wanting to ask this too, because as we think about technology, oftentimes we think about the difficulty in implementing this or putting this in place. So maybe you guys could share uh, a little bit about how, how what's implementation look like, how it's easy to get started with something like this, the barriers to entry. I'll just leave it up to you guys to, 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 to leave some uh, parting thoughts on that from an implementation standpoint. Yeah, the best, what we say as... Um, you know, we, it's our system is built for your industry by your industry, which means for DMOs by DMOs, for sports teams by sports teams. Because the way that our AI works, we see all the questions and then we are able to train all of those questions and that understanding to anyone else in our network of, of clients. And so DMOs who have been with us early on are learning uh, where we've already gathered all the questions that the, their visitors are asking. Therefore, when we go to the next person, we can say, here's all the questions that we know need to be answered. By the way, we have a simple view partnership where we now can take your CRM CMS feed and we can actually bring in all those answers that you already have and, and match them to the questions uh, that, that we're already seeing in the chat. So, uh, you know, the foundation of our platform makes it really quick. I would say from a timing perspective, it's about 20 days to get uh, up and running. We're also starting to have create this uh, simple bot that you can put on day one that is just button based, but just so that people start getting used to seeing it in the corner, you're already collecting data immediately by being able to put, you know, your top five categories uh, we create a, a, a feedback form that says, hey, what questions do you have that you don't see answered here? As we're you know, putting the AI bot together and making sure that the answers are in the branding that you want and um, you know, that they're in the right format, then you, put, you pop that one in. So it's, it's pretty seamless. Yeah, it sounds like, and, I, and that's, I love to hear that, right? And I'm sure... You know, DMOs out there love to hear that as well. Is this something that you can get stood up pretty quickly? Um, you know, there's a simple solution as you're talking about. And then over time, using AI, using your guys' um, you know, natural learning processing and all that kind of stuff involved, it's going to get more complex. It's going to be able to learn more, uh, provide um, that better user experience overall as it's starting to engage more and more and more with your audience. So really, listen, I really love this, guys. I think, again, in the, in the short time that we've been partnering up on this, I think this is really interesting. I think DMOs are always looking for ways to increase engagement and really provide their visitors to their websites and to their other own channels a way of being able to engage properly and give them the information that they want so they can better make decisions. And I think what you have here with Satisfy Labs and around conversational marketing um, is, is a way to do that. So I thank both of you for coming on um, and taking time out of your busy schedules to share some of this. I'm sure we're going to have you guys on again to talk more about ways to leverage this uh, from, a, from a, a paid media and marketing and campaign standpoint. But I really want to thank you for coming on and sharing.
Yeah, we appreciate it. It's been fun. It's really been exciting to see the DMO space and what is new and different and the challenges you guys have and, and what your goals are and how we're able to adjust our AI technology to be able to provide for, for this group of people. Like I said, it's built by you for you. So we're still learning a lot about what is it that the DMO space needs, who are the different audiences, so as we bring more of that on, the more of the data that we start to see, I think it'll be fun for us to come back to and say, hey, here's some interesting insights and here's different ways we think could it could be interesting for you guys to leverage that in other parts of your operations or, or marketing or whatever it may be. So yes, we appreciate being here. <laughs> Love, love that, guys. And so what we'll do is we'll make sure we provide some links down below to Satisfy Labs as, as well as um, I would highly encourage you if you're interested in this to reach out to your CSR. Uh, we can make that connection and get this going. So thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate you stopping by and checking out the show today. If you're not subscribed, please do so now. We're also available on audio podcasts through Spotify and iTunes. So thank you, everyone. Appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time and have a great day.